Welcome to the video introduction on some of the new features found in the current NewSite PPDK 2.1 software release. Aside from a few subtle facelifts, PPDK 2.1 offers upgrades that allow for higher quality 3D content creation. This includes an advanced 1 to 8 warper that can push the 3D volume up to 5 units, allowing you to create larger and more spatial 3D impressions. In addition, the 1 to 8 warper now differentiates between Z data and disparity data. This differentiation enables the filter to use 32 bit open EXR files for more accurate depth generation. Finally, you now also have the choice to use anti aliasing or not. If you do not have an open EXR plugin in your 3D application, you can now benefit from the 2 to 8 warper's capabilities simply by inputting normal 8-bit depth maps instead of 32-bit open EXR depth maps. Like the 1 to 8 warper, the 2 to 8 warper can push the 3D volume up to 5 units and offers anti-aliasing support as well. PPTK 2.1 also has an upgraded overlay 3D filter, allowing for improved usability through a new user interface. Unlike older versions of PPTK, you can now drag, rotate, and scale layers directly in the viewport, as well as animate these transformations. The 3D preview window has also been improved. The preview window can now be updated manually or automatically. Furthermore, you have the possibility to lock a filter of your choice to the preview window by clicking the button that looks like an eyeball. For example, you could lock your final output filter to always see the end result of your filtered chain regardless of which filter you have selected. Another feature of the 3D preview window is that it will auto update during rendering so you can see your animation as it's created. Thank you for watching the video introduction for new site's PPTK 2.1 release.